few months back I swapped out the original propellers on the DJI Mini 2 for a set of aftermarket propellers meant to be stealth or low noise. Want to see what I've learned and also one thing that you must do to avoid your drone falling out of the air? Then don't go away. Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. So several months back I saw on a YouTube channel run by fellow drone enthusiast Blair Ear a video about a new set of low noise or stealth propellers that he got for his Mini 2. After reaching out to Blair he told me where he got them which was a company called Master Airscrew based in California. I'll put links to Blair's channel, the video he made, the Master Airscrew website and the Mini 2 stealth propellers in the description below. So I jumped online and had a look and couldn't resist but to pick up a set of them myself. Installation was pretty straightforward, you just have to make sure you match up the right blades. In the same way that the original propellers have lines on some and not others and you match those with a motor that has lines underneath, these work the same way. It's a bit hard to see on my video so here's a picture from the Master Airscrew website that shows it much more clearly. Now one thing I did notice was that when I screwed the new propellers on, some seemed to move very freely like the original DJI propellers and some seemed a little stiff. But when I fired it up, the strength of the motor had no problem spinning them and it didn't seem to be a problem. So with that all done, I took the drone out and put the low noise claims to the test. If you've seen my original review video, you'll know that in my opinion, the propellers were definitely quieter. And overall, I'd have to say that the propellers did what they said on the box, definitely more stealthy. Now, I know it's a bit unscientific to say, but I've flown the Mini 2 enough to know that when it took off with these propellers, to me, there was a noticeable difference. The pitch was definitely lower, which I think contributed to the overall noise level being lower as well. I'll put a link to the original review in the description below so you can check it out. Now a few months on and the propellers are still going strong. I haven't noticed any shape distortion or any issues like that and I've been so happy with them that I haven't seen any reason to change them back to the original ones. However, there is something that I recommend you should do to avoid your drone falling out of the sky like my mate Corey. Corey is a photographer based in Wellington, New Zealand and makes great videos relating to cameras, photography and more recently drone reviews, tips and tutorials. Well, unfortunately, not so long ago, Corey's DJI Mini SE just dropped out of the sky. Luckily, he recovered the drone, a little bit worse for wear, and he discovered that the reason it dropped from the sky in spectacular fashion was that a set of propellers had come off. I'll put a link to Corey's channel and the video where his drone dropped out of the sky in the video's description below. Definitely make sure you check him out. Now, before I changed to these propellers, I'd never actually ever taken the propellers off the Mini 2 or had any reason to replace a propeller, so I was a little nervous about taking these off and replacing them with new ones. Because I'm sure the original screws have some sort of Loctite on them. I could be wrong about that, but as a result of Corey's incident, I've been making sure to check the tightness of the screws on these ones before every flight. Interestingly, every time I've done that, I've never noticed any play, meaning I've never found that they were loose and needed any tightening up, but Better safe than sorry, I say. So make sure you do the same. Build it into either your pre-flight routine or before you pack your drone away after a flight. So overall, I have no problem leaving these on my Mini 2 and I don't see any reason to change them. And if you're looking to try these out yourselves because you want lower noise propellers, then I definitely recommend you picking some up. Again, I'll put links to the Master Screw website in the description below. However, one thing to bear in mind is that the shipping costs are very high due to COVID, so just watch out for that. As a benchmark for you, the cost of my propellers and shipping came to a total of around 30 US dollars. And that's down to here in New Zealand. Now, I've had a bunch of comments in my original review video about how high shipping costs were when people have gone to order them following my recommendation. So it looks like I got in just before it started going ballistic. So if it's too high for you when you go and check it out, maybe just bookmark it and then go back in the future when freight costs aren't so crazy. Now I've been doing a few tests with the Mini 2 in recent months including an urban range test to see how far I could get it before I lost signal in an urban environment and a speed test to see if I could get the Mini 2 to match the speed claims made by DJI. So check out those videos and I'll see you over there. Cheers guys.